Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today it's going to be all Starlink all the time because the embargo's up. Ubisoft have gone and sent me a, a big, a very, a, ve a big, it's a big, it's a very big box. It's full of toys! So we're going to be looking at them. We're going to be doing a very brief unboxing, looking at them in sort of finer detail, but nothing too extreme. And then we're going to have a look at how they function in the game, because this is a sort of a toys to life kind of deal, isn't it? But anyway, that's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. Okay, so I think we'd be remiss if we didn't start off with the one that everyone's interested in. <laughs> it's only blooming Star Fox. This is the starter pack that's supposed to come with the game, but Ubisoft have already opened it for me and taken the game out for which I'll never forgive them. So let's not muck around. We've got loads to get through. So let's just quickly slam this sucker out. We got a poster that's a bit bent. Looks like this. Right. So we got a little man here. I think this is like, isn't this like the main character of the game? I don't know his name um, because of the time recording. <laughs> I haven't actually played it yet. Oh dear. Ah! Ah! Okay. This is genuinely really jammed in there. Ah, there we go. Fox McCloud, isn't he a thing? It's Fox McCloud. Not bad detail on this, actually, compared to what was like a prototype that I saw. The detailing wasn't brilliant. It's a very small little figure, and the detailing is pretty good, actually. Nice little paint job. Um, we've also got some little guns in here as well. Ah. Oh, God, why? Ah there, we ah, there we go. This is a... This is a gun. I don't know what it is. I think it's some sort of ice weapon or something. Maybe some ice missiles. This, I do know, is a flamethrower because this is one of the ones they advertise. That's a flamethrower, so we got that as well. And it... Uh, uh, come out! Oh! Got it. And I believe... Are they supposed to move? Yes, they are. Good. And there's the R-Wing! Yes! The whole spaceship thing that Fog's done gone on. You know, that thing. <laughs> I really like this. I really like the design. It's sort of swooshy. You know, it looks like an R-Wing, but it looks sort of like it's got its own identity as well. And I believe you can do that as well. And that looks even cooler. That looks like a gen... That looks like the R-Wing. Yeah I, yeah, I really like that. There's also the stand in here that you... Uh, uh, if I can ever get it out. Uh, this is uh, what you stick your Joy-Con into. And uh, that's how it communicates. I still don't fully know how this works, but we'll uh, we'll look at that later on. Let's uh, focus on the toy bits first. Okay, so let's have a close up of all the stuff we just had a look at. And I I genuinely really like everything. I don't know how it all fits together at the moment. Um, so that's going to be interesting to say the least. I imagine this goes on here and then no. All right, we've got loads to get through, so let's not hang around any longer on this. So what should we open next? We got that. We've got this. What's this? This is the Starship Pack Neptune, and it comes with a levitator and judge, whatever that is. This hopefully should be easier to get into. Come on. God, they don't want you getting into these, do they? Come on, out you come. This is going to take so much clearing up. Oh God, where's my scissors? It's one of those like plastic tags you get in clothes to keep the... <sighs> come on. Ah, there we go. Oh, and then they come out easily. That's a better design. So we got this chap. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what's his name? We got this beastly thing. Come on, out you come. Ah! Oh God. Oh. Oh, you can tell it's been a while since I've owned toys. I can't get them out anymore. So we've got this as well, which is another starship. This is the Neptune, according to the, according to the box. It comes with another weapon as well, and they always, you know, they clip on there, they clip on the side of things, which we'll look at later. So let's have a close-up of all the stuff we've got here, including the little character who doesn't have a face. Again, really nicely made things, I'd say, overall. The detail's good. They feel really solid, which is what you want if children are going to be playing with them. And yeah, overall, nice design, big, bold colours. It's good. Let's move on. This is the Starship Pack Lance. And if I can get it without any glare this time, that'll be super duper. So I'm just gonna... Ah, there we go. And this one. And uh, any more... T this one doesn't have any ties in it. So everything just uh, pops out, I presume. Yep, there's the weapon. There's come the little man. Ah, little man. Don't know who that is. And finally... Ah! 
And here's the lance. Here's the spaceship. Here's the little man. Or maybe, maybe the man's called Lance. Maybe. What's his ship called? Oh, no, I see. So this is, uh, this, the character's called Hunter, and this is the Lance. That makes sense. Now, now I, now I won't look like so much of an idiot. I'll still look like an idiot, so don't worry. Another weapon as well, which just has all the other slots on there. Let's have a close-up of all these gubbins as well, so that we can see them in proper detail. And again, just like the same, I do like the angular design of this. It reminds me, reminds me of the R-Wing, which is probably why I really like it. But it's red, and I like red. I like all colours, but red, red's a good one. We've got one more to look at. This is the Starship Pack Pulse, which comes with Volcano and Chase. Chase is the character. She's a woman, and she's got... Come on. Ah! Come on, out you come. I'm getting, I'm getting increasingly frustrated with the packaging. It's good, it's just there's too much of it. Like, it's ridiculous. In fact, you can see it now via phone cam. Yep, that's all the packaging down there and there's only more to go. There's Chase, and actually the detailing on Chase is really good. Like, even, like, the eyes are in the right place, which for something this small, usually they look a little bit wonky or something, but actually, it's really good. You'll have a look, a proper look at that in a minute when I've got all the other gubbins out. Come on, come on. There we go, another weapon. Looks like some sort of Gatling gun. I could probably look at the name. In fact, I will. It's called the Volcano, how about that? And here we have the spaceship called the Pulse. If, if it comes out in one piece. Oh, yeah. There we go. So here is the pulse. Uh, let's have a close up of all of them. I again like these. Uh, I think the uh, the design of the pulse personally, um, not not my favorite of the bunch, but um, I do like the red. Uh, I am a sucker for red. It looks a little bit like a sort of a Formula One car with the uh, the spoilers and the stuff at the front, which I've probably completely misnamed. Maybe it's fins or something. I don't know. That's still not all. We've got two weapon packs to look at as well. Oh god. We've got two weapon packs to look at as well. We've got the Iron Fist, mm, Freeze Ray Mark II, Hailstorm, and Meteor Mark II. So let's open these as well. That's easy. Eh. There's one. There's two. Why aren't the rest this easy? Eh. 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 Oh god, I take it back. Ah, there's one. And there's two. Right, well, let's have a look at all the weapons close up as well. The weapons are, well, this one actually, one of them, the uh, this gold one here, which I think... Oh god, I don't know. It's the Freeze Ray Mark II, and it reminds me actually of a, uh, a gun from Warhammer 40,000, like the Tau weaponry which is pretty cool. Right, so now that we've uh, cracked all these open, let's see how they work in game. That's gonna be a job for future addicts, because I haven't played it, so I don't know the names of anything. Well, here we are. This is Future Alex here, and it's uh, quite far in the future, Alex, actually. It's been a couple of days, um, simply because I've had just so much going on, I haven't had a chance to do this. And it's right up next to the embargo, so hopefully we'll even get this out in time. That'll be super duper. So anyway, uh, this is how the toys basically work. I've uh, had a good chance to use them now, and indeed play the game without them, because you don't need the toys. And that is a very important thing. So, we've got the grip thing here, which is going to be hideously out of focus and it's quite simple really let's move the r-wing out of the way for the moment and uh well first let's slide our joy con in which is uh, an important part so you just slide your joy con in and uh well when i've done that it looks like that doesn't it it looks pretty much how you'd expect um so uh, let's go into it um and i believe we will have to whoa good lordy i think it just told me that yes it knows that there's a there's a toy thing active so let's uh let's slide this in i don't know What'll happen? Nothing. Cool. Uh, back in a sec. Right, here we are actually in the game now. <laughs> I didn't realise you couldn't do it on the uh, on the start menu because I'm an idiot. Um, so we've just launched into the game. Uh, this is on my previous save file and it's asking me to link a pilot. So I'm going to do just that using Fox here. And so you literally just slide it in and you get this excellent little animation. Let's turn that up, in fact. Wasn't that lovely? The answer is yes. Anyway, uh, you can skip that if you like. You don't have to see that every time if you want to play with the toys. And then uh, it's just a matter of, I'm just going to rotate this around so we can actually get it in shot. We have to link a ship. And so obviously we're going to be using the R-Wing because uh, we're fanboys, aren't we? So you literally just slide it on top. So Fox is in the cockpit, click it into place. 
and it immediately recognizes that we've linked the R-Wing. And uh, then we can start uh, playing around with it. And uh, you can do all this mid-game as well. You can fiddle around with the R-Wing or, you know, whichever ship you choose, because obviously there are other ships as well. Uh, this is just here for something that I'll show in a moment. But uh, let's go into the uh, game very quickly. Ship defeated. <laughs> okay. But, uh, uh, oh dear. So it turns out we can't use the R-Wing because the R-Wing was destroyed when I played it last night. Obviously I can repair it, it's not like I can never use this again, but for the time being, just for the sake of brevity, we're just going to use a different ship. Um, I'm terribly sorry all Star Fox fans. Ah! Including myself. Let's slip that into place. Good lord, I didn't realise there's little NEDs at the back there. Why doesn't the R-Wing get any of that? Maybe it does. Um, so we, uh, we're on our ship now, so uh, as you can see, it's reflected on the screen here. And so we just, uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. Here we go, and we're in the game. I'm not going to be able to uh, play it terribly well at this angle. And uh, so let's just say that, uh, you know, I've got my weapons out here, and they're the ones that are actually on the ship, so that's the uh, ice thing. And we've got that there as well, but I don't want to use these. I want to take that off. And slip this on instead. There we go. And now I've got a different thing. Admittedly, I chose something that looks very similar, but honestly, it is different. And what I can also do is I can do something even more crazy, which I didn't realize until I actually played the game. And this can be done with any ship and indeed any wing. The wings come off, um, which I didn't know when I was doing the unboxing. And uh, you can also attach wings two wings because they have the same connectivity as the weapons and I don't know if you can see that but in game that is reflected so now I've got a really wonky looking wing <laughs> and uh, you know I can slip a weapon on top of here as well and it's immediately and there you go and you can do that on the fly you can add things on the fly you can't take things off on the fly um, it pauses the game because obviously maybe if there's a slight, you know, disconnect by accident, somebody knocks something, you don't want to be losing your progress. Um, so I say progress, but you know what I mean. So yeah, that is the basics of how they work. And um, you can do an awful lot. You can also do all of this without the toys as well. There's no there's no uh, sort of uh, bonus stuff that you can do with the toys that you can't do um, in-game if you buy the deluxe version. It is a little bit um, muddy as to which... Uh, versions of the game have what, but uh, if you buy the digital deluxe version of the game, you're pretty much set. Um, you can just do whatever you like with any ship and any pilot that you like. But uh, that is how that works. It is really super simple. It is just literally a plug and play situation. How you think you would do it, that's how you do it. And uh, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot to like about that. And uh, I like it a lot. I'm, uh, I must admit, I do play mostly without the toys. In fact, I've played almost exclusively without the toys, um, purely because then I can use a pro controller, and it's just more convenient. You know, I'm not swapping around physically. But, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, then it is very fun and, you know, very modular. You can have a lot of fun. You can even uh, just put straight-up weapons on the side. And again, that gets reflected in game, so you can go for a really lightweight uh, vehicle, because obviously the more wings and stuff you put on, the, um, the, the, the different it becomes. In fact, you can even make it massively lopsided, if you like. Hang on a sec. Right, now, admittedly, I don't think this will actually fly in-game as out of focus as it is, but if you want, you can create this. Um, it might not, the, the game might sort of complain, but it will actually spawn it, as you see when I connect it up like this. There we go. Everything's been attached, and it said, yeah, ship overburdened, remove some wings to continue. But I think if I press, yeah... Ship is too heavy, so it's complaining, but I can still play the game. <laughs> it's still loaded it in. <laughs> so there's... A, you know, I really like that, because it's so stupid. But the game's like, yeah, I mean, you can't fly with it, but sure, yeah, we'll, we'll render it in-game. Why not? Um, there's a lot to love about that. Oh, God, bandits! Outlaws, even. I called them the wrong thing. But anyway, that is how they work. And uh, yeah, as I said before, I quite like it. Um, you know, practicality for somebody playing a long session. Maybe not so much, but you know, if you've got, got children and they like their spaceship toys, then uh, you're absolutely golden in that regard. But um, yeah, so take that as it comes. Very light Arwing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you build that subscribe button out of numerous different parts including a pilot, and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>